Hello and welcome to this edition of the Angels and Destiny show. Why is this show called This You May Ask? I'll tell you. The accepted meaning of angel is messenger and the accepted meaning of destiny is make firm establish. So my guests and I bring you messages to establish what you need to know in the present. And also I like working with angels and the calmness they bring. Now in a moment I will introduce you to my wonderful guest Sita Jones. But before that I would like to say thank you for watching the show live at a later date as it means a lot to me to connect with like-minded women. Now, if you've never met me before, then my name is Ray and I help women to crossroads in their life, heal their past, create their future, transform their present, so they can take control of their destiny in the here and now. I'm the founder of Radiant Angel Energy and I use angelic Reiki, future life progression, past life regression, meditation, angel cards and hypnosis to help women who feel lost get clear on their destiny. I've also created a transformational journey to help you take charge of your destiny. Now, each episode of this show will cover various themes of your journey, a mini guided meditation or angel card reading with the wisdom of my wonderful guests, like today's guest, Sita Jones, who will be imparting her wisdom about how you can create your ideal you to help you with your calling, your passion, to be of service in the world and to make that your reality. She's been on her own journey that has highs and lows. So with her experience, she can help you identify where you would like to be, what you would like to do, identifying your path to achieve your goal, and then have the confidence to take that first step and then the next step so it feels like yep. you can achieve anything. She has her own followed health blog on Facebook and is known for giving support to others. So without further ado, hello, Sita, and welcome to the Angels of Destiny show. How are you today? <laughs> Yeah, really good. Thank you. Looking forward to this. <laughs> Brilliant. So before we start this fascinating conversation, then whether you're watching live or the recording, then please hit the like love button as I love watching hearts and thumbs flashing across the screen. And if you're watching this on my YouTube channel, then give it a thumbs up and subscribe to it so that you can get updates on all recordings. Now, you can also ask questions, leave comments and thoughts as both Sita and I want you to be part of this conversation. So please don't be shy um, and introduce yourself when you, when you come to watch it. So Sita, why don't you tell us more about yourself and then how you can help women with creating your ideal you? Okay, so my journey really started about two years ago now. Um, and I went for a reading. Well, I saw that on Loose Women, Paul McKenna was talking about and it's Anne Jersh. And I thought, oh, I bet you Anne will be in America. So I watched till the end, and then, of course, you get on and, and sort of have a look around Google. And to my surprise, Anne's based in Maidenhead. And mm. I thought, wow, brilliant. So Hubby got home, and I, I sort of said what I'd seen. And he said, well, as your birthday present, I'll pay for a reading. And I really wanted to go, but I was like, it was that confidence thing of making that step. But I, it was something that was inside and was really burning. So I thought, well, I'll, I'll go. And I, I, went. and I went and it was amazing with the cards that she pulled. Um, she said, you're a brilliant mum, wife, but you're trapped been at home and that was exactly how I was feeling um but I just because of upbringing and and blah 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 I I so wanted to make that step of doing a course and just about helping people and it was a counseling that I'd love to do having my own sort of upbringing and and being stuck I love helping people. Um, so she said, well, go and do counselling then. And I thought, oh, I can't do that. But because she had that belief in me, I had the belief of my husband and, and family, but it's not the same as an outsider. Mm, so to yeah. speak. Um, so I got home and I sort of mulled it over, as you do. and then sort of a couple of days in I thought well why not what have I got to lose and that was hmm. I, I phoned up that realization of oh, what have I done 
went for the course and each week the first time it was I wanted to bowl I just I got there but it was going through that door mm. did it and little by little my confidence grew and sort of I got to level three in the end but with going to counselling you've got to have your own therapy right again it was like oh anyway I went and talking to my counsellor is the best thing I, I could have done for myself because I had no self-worth I had no value for me fine but for my actual self it, it was I'm a nobody I don't count and over time you learn that you do have a value you do count you you can achieve things and sort of it just sparks it's like a domino effect when you start something you get the next bit of the picture and sort of I, I was speaking to Anne I went back for another reading and my weight was has always been a thing for me and mm. I, in my mind's eye I could see myself as a slimmer healthier fitter person but through the conditioning Every time I went, I'd be pulled back. Yeah. So again, seeing Anne, and she saw me as a slimmer person. And I was just sort of here one evening thinking, and just sort of, Anne said, well, do, do a blog on something. And I'm thinking, what, what could I do it on? And then I thought, well, we're doing a blog about my fitness and weight i'll have i've got so many followers and the support is amazing and i'm so thankful for it it just keeps me going and my weight was up and down and i thought well i've got to do something else and a friend of mine said why don't you join the gym and i thought oh god <laughs> i know that feeling <laughs> but that little seed had been planted and when sort of with me doing the journey it's like it was I'm, I'm at a junction in my life now where I, I've got the confidence I've got the self-worth I'll take this step and do you know why I haven't looked back it is just amazing and people have helped me along the way mm -hmm a smile just a simple smile is like they make you feel at ease i'm i'm okay i'm i'm enough yeah. i can do what i can do um and just like songs inspire me and the greatest showman was huge as you know yeah i, th I think that's helped a lot of people yeah and the this is me song with the people that are in the show this is me and i accept me for the good the bad the ugly i can work on the things that i don't like i can improve the things that are good and it's this is me and this is me at the moment and it's the here and now and i've got all these other things like coming in and for me now i just want to go and grab the world and just take it by storm That's um, it's just a case of holding tight and digesting what i'm hearing really um and it's funny because like for my counseling agency that we had to do a report on it was the road victims trust here where i live fantastic charity um and i thought my time with them even though i'm not going on with my counseling at the moment my time with them hasn't finished mm. i think well why isn't it finished but it will come clear yeah and then i'd started at the gym and on my facebook they're looking for people to fundraise and do a touch to 10k oh started doing 
couch to 10k with my personal trainer Kelly and it's like oh that's what I hadn't it was unfinished business yeah. and I just feel that's what I'm meant to do because it's helping people it's getting me yeah. fit and it's just things come in from whatever source if, if you're meant to go down a certain path I think you're led you're guided mm. and if it's not right for you at that time juncture something else will come in yeah. to give you more confidence experience to take that with you and the road instead of joining at the beginning you join halfway down yeah sort of thing and i just now i just love life <laughs> which is <laughs> it's absolutely which is absolutely brilliant you know everyone should in, enjoy enjoy life you know you know we're here for a reason we we're, we're here um you know even if we don't know what it is but yeah there's there's always something that that we can do but i think there i and i don't just think it's women but i think men as well but it is mainly women we do um have that kind of like lose our identity um sort of like when we work get married have children etc so you do sort of like as as you said sort of like feel like you're a non-person yeah type thing so with the um oh we've got uh poggy is just saying hi guys hello hey, thanks for joining in um so going back to um obviously the uh, help and advice you were given um how would you translate that to say there was somebody else in the same sort of like position as you? You know, what sort of advice um, would you give them to help them start them on their steps and their journey? Um, look at what you've got around you. Take what people say and just build on it like a building block. You, you, you've got the founder. I believe that everybody's got the foundation within them and it's just a case of it's like having a seed and a seed sort of planted within you and you know what you'd like to do but it's nurturing it and it's it's like watering it giving it sunlight giving it food giving it whatever that little seed will start to shoot and then you just gather more and more and it and you will find a way and when you're in a situation that you just don't want to be in anymore when that becomes just painful and tenable you then will move yourself into getting away from a situation and it's just follow what what, what you want to do and the, the more positive, because I found that I was very negative um, because I just, I was just trapped and I felt, Bleh. but when you have a more, when you tiny little things, things are more positive and it's like a snowball, it's, it starts off tiny, but the more positive you are and the more you kind of push yourself, the more you, you will grow. Yeah, because because it is, isn't it? It's kind of like you have, um, you know, that that small bit of gratitude for for something. So you know, because 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 they had they have this thing, don't they? You know, like gratitude diaries and stuff and stuff like that. But but it is. It's kind of like that first little thing. Like I'm grateful that I can breathe. Yeah. And then you think, oh, I can breathe. Okay, so I'm grateful that I've got a nose. Yeah. I'm grateful that I've got eyes. I, I can see what I'm, yeah. what I'm spending. So, so it, it is kind of like just taking um, that, that even that tiny little step, even if you really are d really deep down that you feel I'm really lost, I'm a nobody, nobody is than that. Just think, okay, I'm alive. Yeah. 
yeah and um, and that so so is that how you kind of like you did yeah Rem, you did it with with your with your steps kind of like okay I've um found this per I found Anne so I've gone for a reading okay yeah. what what do I do next type thing yeah and it, it was I, I wanted to do something for me and, and just start having a life because I don't I had a life with with Stu and the kids, obviously, mm. but all through all through my young life, I was told I was stupid, I was no good, I was blah 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 blah, blah. and then, you know, hubby says you're not you you can you can do whatever you want to do. Mm. It's having that belief, and even though he's been backing me one hundred percent, it's. Yeah, but you would say that because you're my husband. Yeah. But when somebody else that you don't know, like I didn't know Anne, and she goes, I believe you can do it, you can. It's like, oh, she believes me. And then it was proving to her that she's right and proving to myself that oh, I can do it. And it's such a huge thing that it just fills you with joy because... I did it and I did it for myself <laughs> yeah and that is such a huge buzz that you've done it for yourself nobody's done it for you. they've shown you how to facilitate it but you can just go for it and it, it's like well I've done that I can do something else I can do something else and now I can do anything given the right tools at the right time it's only me that blocks me. yeah and and that, that is quite often we um we, we do tend to block ourselves don't we because we have doubts come into our mind that it's not actually right. going to work yeah but but in but in the end it, it does actually and it's and it is really sad that we or oh, adults around do sort of like say to people, you know, especially children, and that you know you're not worth it, you're stupid, you're this, you're that, without realizing the implications that that can have in later life on 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 a child. So, and so it is kind of like you know trying to remember that when you do speak to other people, yeah to always be as positive and as kind as you can because that one that one word can either lift them or bring them down yeah and uh, so yeah so it's it's kind of like I'm, I'm glad you sort of like um and and came along to give you that bit of confidence that you can now actually say to yourself yes i am good enough i can do this but also that you can say that to other people as well who are in the yeah. same situation. Yeah. And they go, well, actually, I'm going to be doing a 10K run, so if I can do it, <laughs> you can do it. <laughs> <laughs> so how, how, do you, how do you find doing the blog? Do you do it every day? or Nine out of ten times I do it every day of just what I'm doing, how I'm feeling. Um, and I'm gonna sort of go back into incorporating what I'm eating because I think the calories help me. But when I'm putting good food into my system, I feel amazing, and and it's really shown me over Christmas where I've I've eaten no ends of naughty food, but it's made me, have. <laughs> but it makes me feel really sluggish and lethargic when. I'm having salads and eggs and a bit of cheese and I, I feel that that's good fuel and I just want to get going and it's to, this morning was the first time back at the gym and I thought oh, it was a struggle but I tell you what when I was there I thought boy have I missed it <laughs> I, it really made me alive and and now I'm back on track and this year I really would hope and pray that I lose. That's my focus, and that's what I'm gonna. I'm gonna do it. 
Yeah, and, and I don't see I don't see that you're you're not going to do it. The fact that you're actually going to the gym is absolutely um, amazing because I hate gyms. <laughs> I have to admit, I really do yeah. hate gyms. I'd much go, rather go for a long walk than they go yeah. they go they they go go to a gym. Um, but but you do obviously have to be careful because that can become addictive. Yeah, I think also with Simply Gym here down in Bedford are just amazing nobody in my in my opinion and, and in my experience nobody judges you they just get on they smile so it's a, it's a really encouraging gym mm, and having yeah. kelly my personal trainer it's more of a social and I'm, I'm working out but because i can chat which i love to do the time goes so quick <laughs> Yeah, and, and that's the, and that's the thing I think also is enjoying it as well. Be, yeah. Because if you enjoy enjoy something, it goes really quick, and it kind of like also um, shows, you know, like over Christmas you've sort of like, you know, had that period where you haven't been to the gym, you haven't eaten the right foods, but it allows you to actually when you do go back to it, to actually enjoy it more. yeah because you know that that you've you've had that break so because i know that obviously um you know sometimes if you're if you're doing stuff like this you get those guilty feelings i mean did you have any guilty feelings over christmas at all or did you think do you know something i'm just this is just this period and i'm going to go back to it yeah because nothing is permanent everything's temporary and it it's through sort of doing the, the counselling, it, it things do change. It's like the big wheel; it goes up, it goes down. Everything has a purpose. Everything has a cycle, and every episode in your life, I think you you gain a lesson from whatever. And my lesson is eating too much. I put on bags, but never mind. <laughs> but the old me wouldn't have gone back i would have thought oh well i'll start again in on the first of february which would have meant that would have gained more yeah but having that mindset and the focus i think because of my blog it's people are the, the messages i get it's really encouraging down as well as I don't want to let myself down so it's yeah. brilliant because it all it's all like cogs in a big wheel they're just mm. one sparks another which sparks another and I just love the journey that I'm on now yeah yeah and Gary's joined us hello Gary hello Gary yeah he, he, he said hello there um yeah so if there's any sort of like advice you would give to anyone watching this um who might have self-doubts or they might have taken one step but thinking actually i don't want to do the next step because obviously like you said when you initially started going for the counseling you nearly you nearly bottled it really i did, um, I did. yeah i saw my, my cat decided she was going to sit on my lap and she just decided she was going to play with the uh with the headphones <laughs> so so ignore me on that she kind of like went like that to me oh bless her anyway where were we before i got interrupted by the cat as you do yeah 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 and that's so uh, we were talking about when you had that little blip yes i think it's just when the time is right for in the back of your mind it just chips away and you think i've really got to do it i've really got to do it and you're, you're pushing it because you don't want to but then you get to a point of well i did the first thing and that what i felt was great this is a bit harder but it's all like the steps and they are hard and they are tricky and you think oh why am i doing this but when you get to the top, you can look back and think, wow, it's 
years to get where I am and I'm two years on from that. But I'm so glad that I could just, well, the time was right for me to do it. And I had so many full starts and each time it was getting harder and harder and harder. But then having a different perspective on things, I saw it in a different way, which then just fired fired me. And it's like, yeah, I can. And it's just getting that bit of inspiration off somebody just to, to light that fire. But it will... It will light because if if you've had it in your mind and you and you and you want it, at some point that that fire will be lit. Yeah, that, that yeah that that's pretty good and yeah I I, I like that. I mean, if you've got it in in your mind that 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 fire will will sort of like be lit and it will bring other people into your life that 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 can help you. Yeah. Um, and that we, which I, which I think is, which I think is, is pretty good. Um, so, as you know, I do guided meditations, angel card readings. So each week, I ask my guests, "What would you like a mini guided meditation or an angel card for yourself and those watching?" So, Sita, what would you like? Could I have an angel card, please? You, we can do an angel <laughs> card. Everyone always wants angel cards. Yes. One day someone's going to go, yeah, let's do a guided meditation. But um, okay, so got the cards, and um, if he and although I do angel cards, I don't I read, read the cards for predicting the future. Mm -hmm. The way I look at everything is everything is in the present. So although I work with the past with past life regression, for me, working with the past is healing the past to help you in the present. Going into the future helps you bring back stuff to the present. So everything around is so when I do the cards, it's for what you need to know for your highest good at this moment in time. So mm -hmm. we'll just give them a quick cleanse and a bless. So what does oh okay. But one card decided they they keep jumping out these cards every time I do it. It's absolutely amazing if I even get to say. Yeah. And the card that came out for you and everyone is joy and delight. Open your heart to joy. Lovely. So I mean, I think that that works out perfectly with what we've we've actually been we've actually been talking of talking about is that even if you feel really down and closed in and worthless just that little bit of gratitude and allowing your heart to open to joy actually brings brings more stuff into you and makes you feel like a fairy that you can create magic that is, that's exactly it and it, it's just it is. It's like now I've just got like for myself, because I, I now think that I can do whatever I want to. It's like I've just got a little magic wand, and if it's meant, it it will manifest itself. That's that's absolutely brilliant. So I hope everyone you've enjoyed this and found it insightful, and that the words of wisdom Sita has given you kind of like help you further on your journey. Now, Sita, if people want to connect with you. And especially if they want some guidance or that push or that bit of inspiration to move themselves forward, how do they connect with you? I'm on Facebook and I've also got my health blog. It's Cita's Health Blog. And I'm on Instagram, which is Cita J, I think it is, or Cita Dot Jones. Um, mm -hmm. And I'm on Twitter, which is Cita J. So they're my three platforms that I really use. OK, and what I'll do is I'll put those in the comments anyway so that people can just click on click on the links to uh, to actually use them. So you. you're welcome. Um, thank you so much for being on the show today and, uh, and and giving your advice. It's absolutely wonderful. And the fact you've still got your Christmas tree up as well. And so I know. you've got all those sparkling lights like fairies behind you twinkling away. Thank you. <laughs> 
so thank you everyone for watching and i would like to invite you to share this video as i'm sure there are more women who feel lost and want to get clear on their destiny just like you and if you need help finding your destiny and getting clear on your path i would love to be that guide for you so reach out and connect to me as i'd love to book a free 20 minute session with you to have a quick chat so i can find out more about you and how i can help you on your journey and if you were thinking of using me for a guide then up until this friday this saturday i'm offering everything i do except the angel card readings for half price so you don't have to book now and then before saturday but if you contact me before the 5th of january to book something for the future then everything i offer apart from the angel card readings is actually half price and on the 9th of january next wednesday i'll be chatting about why cord cutting is important in taking charge of your destiny and I'll be doing a guided meditation where you'll be able to cut cords that may be holding you back. And you'll also have a chance to catch up with any shows you have missed. So once again, Sita, thank you so much for being on the show. And to thank everyone you watching this, me. you're welcome. And for everyone that, that's watching this live or the replay, and if you do watch the replay, please type please in the replay. And if you do put any comments in, Sita and I will actually pop back um, and just answer anything on there. So thank you everyone for watching and I'll speak to you. Well, I won't be live next week. I will be live by the week after. But um, hopefully you'll tune into the show next week and I'll speak to you live in a couple of weeks. Bye. Thank you.